Girl, I can't lie. Ryan <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Chi Chi and I'm rebuilding my wardrobe. Honestly, this has been a long time coming. Let me give you a bit of backstory about fashion and how fashion has been incorporated in my life. Ever since I was born, I've kind of always been a bit of a fashionista. I loved putting outfits together. It was only a matter of time before I grew up and started a beauty YouTube channel. But throughout my life, especially my teen years, I'm saying that as if I'm like 35 years old, I'm literally 18. I was kind of very limited with my fashion. As you guys saw in my last video, my closet isn't huge, so I don't have a lot of space to put clothes in. Second, I never really had the funds to afford nice clothing. And three, which is probably like the most important thing, I went to private school my entire life where you had to wear a uniform to school, all the time and when you're a teenager there's really not much you do other than go to school maybe a sports practice club practice maybe you hang out with your friends every so often but other than that you're pretty much home and me being a homebody makes everything even worse so because i went to private school and i was a bit of a homebody i lounged around in sweats all day and i really had no reason to buy outside clothes because I barely even went outside. But you know, I'm older now, I'm wiser now, and I really want to dive into fashion. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Step one in this whole thing is analyzing your life. The type of life you live will heavily contribute to the type of clothes you wear. Like I said in the intro, being a homebody and a private schooler do not mix when you're trying to build a wardrobe, but your analysis may be different from mine. Maybe you're an athlete and need an excess of athleisure, or you work in a corporate office and you need a lot of fancy clothes. It's really all specific to your lifestyle. Where you live, where you work, and how old you are all affect the way you're going to dress. When I was little, I always wanted to participate in fashion trends like jean booty rips and the under boob showing but I really just needed to sit back and chill because I was definitely only 15 years old and I had strict-ish parents. Analyzing your life reassures that you can actually wear the clothes in your closet because too many times we buy clothes that we don't really need or don't really wear, which is just a waste of money and we don't wanna do that. Step two is finding inspiration. This is when you can use various sources to try and identify your style. You can use the internet, magazines, or even your own closet to see what kind of fashion gravitates towards you. Okay guys, so I'm looking at my closet. Last week you guys saw that I cleaned my closet out. So this is kind of everything that's left. You can tell that there's a really, really simple theme with all of this. You can see there's a lot of black, a lot of white. There's some jean over here. You can see there's a random pop of red. Since I decided to keep all this stuff, this is kind of like a glimpse of what my style is gonna be like I can tell that I'm gonna gravitate towards a lot of black white neutral colors even if you go to my pants you'll see that I kept the jeans the grays the blacks I even kept this tan and nude color so I can tell just by looking at what I have in my closet right now that that's kind of gonna be my aesthetic I'm looking at my closet right now I really really need more clothes this is crazy and it's already dirty by the way look <laughs> Look at all that smell before. Anyways. <laughs> Instagram and Pinterest is a big source for my fashion. I just find a bunch of accounts that have the same vibe as me or has a vibe that I'm going for and I just follow them. I see what kind of outfits that I gravitate towards and I add it to my Pinterest and my Instagram mood board. But when creating your mood board, you have to keep in mind body type and the skin color of the people you're getting inspired from because those two elements heavily affect the way clothes are gonna look on you. Way too many times I see girls buy from various fashion sites. They like what they see, they buy it, they try it on at home and it looks terrible on them because they didn't keep in mind their own and the model's body type. Also, color is extremely important, but I'll go more into depth about the color theory later in the video. Once you finish that, you can go on to the fun part, shopping. Do not, and I mean do not buy everything all at once. I'm gonna do that because I'm stupid. 
but you're not stupid so don't take my advice with this one instead find the items that appear on your mood board the most often i would say about like four to five items buy those take a couple weeks to style them and then keep adding on from there but here's how i attained my clothes real quick if you're enjoying the video so far give it a thumbs up and if you're not enjoying the video so far give it a thumbs down and comment down below what i can do to make my videos better so let's start off with the basics you want to know who has great basic pieces trendy instagram stores they sell the cutest clothing at a nice price when shopping for my new wardrobe i started off with the basics i tried to obtain staple clothing pieces that go well with almost everything like crop tops and camis i tend to gravitate towards crop tops a lot because i just got my belly pierced and i want to show the entire world and also, I wanted to get those staple pieces in black and white, so I knew that it would look good on me color-wise. We'll get into all that color stuff later in the video. And look good in anything that I pair it with. Basic pieces are the foundation of your style. In order to branch out into like the super duper exciting stuff, like a vintage Louis Vuitton purse or super cool black snakeskin pants, you have to start off with the basics. And luckily, at these stores, you do just that. Make sure that the basics are good quality because these are going to be the pieces that you wear almost every day, so you don't want them to wear out easily. All right, let's talk about color theory and why color plays such an important part when choosing the clothes we buy. Along with our skin having color, we also have a shade. Skin tones that are lighter have a lighter shade, while skin tones that are darker have a darker shade. In order for us to look the best in the clothes we wear, we have to buy clothes that corresponds with our skin shade. Let's take me for example. I'm black, obviously. So I'm looking for clothes with a darker and deeper shade. So this light pastel type shirt isn't going to do me any justice. In my opinion, it makes me look a bit washed out and ashy, and it doesn't bring out the natural beauty of my skin. But this shirt is 10 times better. The shade is deeper, which corresponds with my skin, making me look more appealing to the eye. This doesn't only work for clothes, but it works for makeup as well. Without lip liner, this bright red lipstick looks terrible on me. I look tacky and messy with a color like this on my lips. But add some dark lip liner and a bit of the red color in the center and BAM! I look a lot better. So when shopping for clothes, please consider your skin shade to pick out the best colors for you. I also want to talk about undertones. Your undertone is the color underneath the surface of your skin. You can be one of three undertones, warm, cool, or neutral. If you have a warm undertone, your skin has a bit of a greenish or yellowish tint to it. You look best in warm oranges, reds, yellows, and honeys. If you have a cool undertone, your skin probably has a bluish tint. Different blues and purples look best on you, and if you don't fit in either of those categories, you're probably neutral. A lot of people with hazel eyes are neutrals too. And guess what? When you're neutral, you look good in almost anything. Just try and stay away from colors that are too vibrant or colors that are too muted. But how do you tell what undertone you are? Well, there are specific looks that people have that literally scream their undertone. People with darker skin and darker hair tend to be cooler. The combination of light skin, dark hair, and blue eyes also screams that you have a cool undertone as well. And for warm tones, when I see a tanned olive skin with blonde or honey highlights, that's a big sign that they have a warm undertone. But there are specific little tests that you can do that can show you. Look at the color of your veins right now. If it's blue, you have a cooler undertone, and if it's green, you have a warmer undertone. Honestly, I've been looking at the color of my veins for a chill hour now trying to figure out what color my veins are, and I've come to the conclusion that they are most definitely green. Or you can use silver or gold jewelry to test it out as well. If the gold jewelry complements you better, then you probably have a warmer undertone. If the silver jewelry complements you better, you probably have a cooler undertone. Okay, let's bring everything together now, using me as an example. I have dark skin, meaning that I have a deeper shade, and I have an obvious warm tone to my skin, so this red dress is an obvious match for me. It corresponds with the color of my skin, and it brings out my skin's natural hue. It is perfect. Okay, finally, now time for styling. Okay, so for styling, I know a lot of people are going to tell you, oh, just go in your closet, just pick out what you like, blah, blah, blah. 
but it's actually not that simple. A really good way to style your clothing that's going to instill those fashionista instincts in you is to, okay, hear me out. It, <laughs> you know, I haven't even said it, I'm already getting defensive. Hear me out. I want you to go on your mood board. I want you to pick out your favorite outfit and I want you to copy it, like exactly. Like get the exact or something similar to what the person in your mood board is wearing and start from there. But once you take the outfit, like the exact outfit, I mean the pants, the shirt, the accessories, take out one piece of clothing that's a part of the outfit and replace it with something else. Let's take this outfit, for example, you can see it's an all black fit with these white sneakers. And in the picture, you can see that the girl is wearing a leather jacket. My advice is to switch out the leather jacket for a jean jacket or just really any jacket you would want and then go from there. And the next time you style an outfit, then take out two clothing items that's in the outfit and exchange it for something else in your closet. This is a really good way for beginners to style outfits without like the pressure because there's actually a lot of pressure involved with picking out a nice outfit. I feel like this is the best way to do it because it kind of just eases you into styling clothing. It doesn't just throw it at your face. This is gonna make styling clothes a lot easier for you to the point where you can just go in your closet and be like, I like this, I like this, I like this, I'm gonna wear this, and it looks great. All right, that's it for the video. Finally, hooey. I've been making this video for days and it's been very exhausting. Even though fashion isn't really my niche, I want to get more into it and I want to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys don't mind me making a bit more fashion content. Um, if you guys do enjoy my fashion content, just um, comment down below what other fashion related videos you want to see from me and I'll definitely do it. But don't worry guys, I'll just shut up and make natural hair content soon, okay? Because that's just what everyone wants to see. No one cares about anything else I do, but whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content for me. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down and comment down below what I can do to make my videos better. Um, that's really all I have to say. I'll see you guys in my next one. Uh, Bye. Girl, I can't lie. And like a you, 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 you watch her back it up. She do that, 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 that,